Hi everyone, and welcome to my channel. As you can probably tell from my frustrated sigh at the beginning of the video, I have a huge task before me. My daughter is away at college, but is coming home this weekend, and this is her room. All of this stuff belongs to my son, who is getting ready to start his freshman year at St. Edward's University. And since my daughter's away, I thought it would be a good idea to store her brother's college hall items here, but now I have to organize and move everything to the garage. So please join me as I go through and document everything I've purchased so far to get him ready for his first year in college, starting with these two travel trunks. The first trunk is where I'm storing his clothes, specifically bought for college. He is home on quarantine, so there's really no need to wear anything brand new until school starts next month. He's not really into clothes, so his wardrobe choices are fairly simple. He likes plain t-shirts and graphic tees, and I found some great ones on Amazon. I also found the usual items like underwear and socks for great prices as well. My son is big on comfort, likes to be comfortable, so I picked up several pairs of sweatpants in a variety of colors. The sweatpants are great because they give him some flexibility in terms of what he wants to wear. They're great to just throw on, to go downstairs to the lounge, or to hang out with friends, or to go grab some food at the cafeteria. Jeans, of course, are a must. So I grabbed several pairs in different styles, colors, and materials so he can mix and match throughout the week. He really loves hooded flannel shirts as well. And I actually found a bunch of those on sale on Amazon. These are not in the trunk just yet um, because I wanna wait until he actually leaves for school and moves into the residence hall. So I'll throw in a picture here so you can take a look. Again, these are just fun colors, easy to put on, stuff that he likes to wear and feel comfortable. By the way, as often as possible throughout this video, I've actually tried to label these items and the cost. If there are any items you have questions about, please ask in the comment section. I'll do my best to try and provide an answer for you. The second travel trunk is where I'm storing the bedding, bath, and laundry items. These trunks were given to us, so we've had them for a long time, but I noticed that on Amazon and at Walmart, they're also available for purchase. And these are great to have too. They're actually a great gift for college students, especially when you're trying to prepare and pack up um, for the big day to move into the dorms, or now as they say, residence halls. I like this trunk a lot because it comes with this really nice handy dandy tray so you can organize items and put them on the top rather than have things slip down in the bottom of the trunk. This trunk is primarily for the linens and the bedding and the bath, like I said. So here I have things like the bath shower caddy, um, something simple, but something functional that he'll need to take with him to the shower uh, to make sure he has his shampoo and body wash and all those types of things. He doesn't have to keep running back and forth. Of course, you got your classic uh, sheets and pillowcases. Um, there's some dorm decorations for the wall. I'll go over that later. Um, I found these great wrap towels, and um, I'm not exactly sure what they're called. Uh, they're called men's towel wraps. That's what I'm calling them. I'll find out the true description, and I'll put it in the video. Um, these are great because unlike regular towels, um, when you wrap these around you, they're actually stretchy, and they have a little bit of a, a snap button to secure it around your waist. Um, they're comfortable, and of course, they're towel materials to keep you dry. The great thing about this is that I actually found two of them or a pack of two on Amazon for sale. So while one's in the laundry, you can have a fresh one um, to use. Laundry basket. Um, this was a difficult choice. I wanted to find something that was nice material, heavy duty, but also had a lot of room and space for it. So I found this great laundry bag. I love the color. It matches his theme that he wants for his room um, and it's functional. Of course, towels are always great. As many towels, washcloths, and hand towels as you can find. Um, it's always good to grab up a, a stack of those. Uh, again, sheets. Um, his colors are sort of like an antique brown, a chocolate brown, and a beige, which is a good thing because boys, right? <laughs> so as many sheet sets as possible. He's probably going to take maybe three or four sets with him. Um, another great laundry bag that I found. Um, I really, really like this one. Um, because it's actually more like a backpack, which is cool. And it actually does double duty. You can use it to carry your clothes up and down or back and forth to the laundry room, but you can also use it like a suitcase to carry clothes home over the weekend and things like that. It's multi-purpose and I actually love this. It was a great price on Amazon um, and I actually recommend that. Again, another pack of sheets. Um, again, just to sort of mix and match some things up. Here I'm showing his comforter. It's not really his comforter, it's actually a comforter insert that actually goes inside of a duvet. 
a duvet is like, I don't know, a, a big pillowcase for a comforter. So, and I'll show that duvet a little bit later. Um, these mats that I'm showing right now are great. One for the bedroom, one for the bathroom, because it actually matches the theme that he's gonna have in his room. He's not big on decorating. He kind of left that up to me, but uh, I'm going off how his room at home is decorated and so far, so good. This item here um, was actually a backdrop, was sort of like a background, like a photo background. Um, it's made of sort of like a mixture of paper and plastic. You hang it up on the wall and it's great because again, it matches his theme. Um, he's an English major, loves reading and writing, definitely loves classic books, classic literature. Um, his room at home kind of has this similar theme and he kind of wanted to do that. So I stuck in a picture here so you can see what it looks like. A great wall decoration, especially for those larger walls where you kind of, it's begging to put something up there. Bags, bags, and more bags. So um, I definitely wanted him to be organized going into his college year. So I got him a few different bags. Uh, the little one is more like a fanny pack, but it's great because when he's wearing his sweatpants that don't have pockets, he can have something to carry his keys and his wallet and his ID in. Um, it's a very cool looking crossbody bag for men and I guess women too. Um, this other bag here is a beautiful roll top leather bag. Um, this is really more for his personal use. Um, again, he's a literature major and a history major, so he loves to read, he loves to write. Um, he has his journals, his poems, his movie scripts, um, his calligraphy writing. So this is where he'll store all those items for his personal hobbies um, and um, his personal things that he likes to, to work on. Uh, the other bag here, which is great, I love this bag so much. Um, this is the bag that we decided to go with for his school bag. Um, he needed something that was going to have a lot of room. It was going to have a lot of pockets for storage and organizing. Um, he can put everything from pens and pencils to notepads and school supplies and snacks or whatever, an umbrella, a water bottle. I mean, it's got pockets for days. I'm actually probably, yeah, no, I'm definitely going to do a separate video on this bag. Um, just kind of a review because it's great. My husband actually saw it and loved it so much that we went ahead and got him one as well. Um, you can never... Um, have too many bags, in my opinion. But when it comes to school and being organized, you want to have um, something that's going to be durable and functional. So I'm very happy about uh, what we found for that. Speaking of bags, these are fantastic. Uh, these are those heavy duty uh, storage bags. You can get them from a bunch of different places. Found these on Amazon. I'm actually lining them with uh, thin cardboard boxes to kind of create sort of a form factor to it. And they are excellent. They hold a lot of stuff. Probably can't really tell that from this video, but trust me, they're deep and they're wide and they hold a lot of great stuff. And this is gonna be excellent for moving my son um, up to college. Um, this bag here I'm opening up has, of course, all his shoes. Now again, uh, just like his clothes, he's not big into fashion and things like that. In fact, this is probably the first year that he's actually had more than one new pair of shoes. But I wanted to get him um, several pairs of uh, sneakers or shoes or whatever, um, just to have a variety, again, to mix and match while he's up at school um, and depending on his mood. So uh, we went ahead and splurged just a little bit. Again, found a lot of good stuff on sale. Of course, the must-have shower shoes. Uh, for men, for whether it's going to the pool or back and forth to the shower, walking through the dorm, uh, residence hall, um, hallways, whatever. Um, and again, he got um, uh, he got the opportunity to select a couple of different pairs of sneakers, um, just again to mix and match with his outfits. Um, unlike my daughter, who's all about her clothes, uh, my son is pretty simple and easy to buy for. So um, it was a pleasure to uh, find him some items that he really appreciated and felt good about. And so I'm actually excited for him. Um, again, not big on this kind of stuff. So this is the first time um, he got to splurge a little bit on things like this. Um, of course, uh, another must is hangers. Um, according to my daughter, you can never have too many hangers, but with my son, uh, 30 hangers is more than enough. So these are great. They're the flat velvet hangers for his t-shirts and uh, his, his sweaters and shirts and things like that. And so that's going to be um, a good fit for us to, to organize his closet. Here, um, thinking about his bathroom and setting that up, um, found this great set. Love it because it has six pieces in it. So it's got the toothbrush holder and the cup and um, it's got a small waste basket and a toilet brush and on and on. Great deal. Um, 
Also, shower curtain. Um, I found him a really cool shower curtain. I didn't open it up in this video because it is hard as heck to fold back up and put away, but I'm gonna tuck in a picture of it so you can see it's a motivational kind of quote of the day, um, feel good type shower curtain. And the cool thing about it is that I was actually able to also find a matching bathroom rug set. It hasn't arrived yet, but I'll throw in a picture so you can take a look at that. Um, I think that's gonna be really cool, simple, clean. Uh, here's a hat rack. Um, he loves to wear those newsboy, uh, uh, great Gatsby type hats. Those cool hats, you know, from the 60s and 70s, and actually from the 40s and the 50s. And so a great place for him to hang that stuff up on that goes on the back of the door. And it came two to a pack, I believe. Uh, here's some bowls. Um, he's primarily going to be using paper plates, paper products and things like that. But just in case he would ever run out, I wanted him to have a set of uh, plastic bowls, cups, and, and plates that he could use in the dorm. Um, of course, I got him a data hub, and I actually have him a couple items like that, but I didn't show them all in the video. Um, just things to make sure he has enough things to charge um, his phone and his computer and, and um, some of his other electronics, but also a way a data hub so that he can plug in USB drives or whatever it is he needs. Um, here, just pulling out some odds and ends that I wanted to make sure he had a picture frame so he won't forget us <laughs> while he's gone to college and things like that. Um, these are fantastic. These are wall um, hangings, and these actually match the theme for his room. Um, this is very similar to the theme in his room at home, so I thought this was great. Um, and um, just like the mats I showed earlier and those wall hangings, I also was able to find this wonderful uh, duvet cover. So his comforter will actually go inside of this duvet cover, which is fantastic. Um, took a while to find it. Um, you kind of have to hunt for it a little bit, but the company is called uh, Amazon and um, they have a bunch of different options, but this was just absolutely beautiful. And he actually has a tapestry in his room right now at home with this exact uh, motif on it. So it's got that old world sort of spyglass compass pocket watch design um, with the rich colors. Um, I'm showing the pillowcase right here. And then of course there comes the matching uh, duvet cover. Um, most college residence halls use uh, the twin XL beds. So anything that you get, um, sheets, comforters, blankets, whatever it might be, flat sheets, fitted sheets should come in the twin XL. You can always check with your residence hall to be sure. And so this is a twin XL duvet cover and it is amazing. Uh, I'll throw in a picture so you can kind of get a better feel for what it looks like on the bed. Um, he's excited about that. Again, doesn't really care that much about decor, um, but definitely wanted to have his room have that sort of uh, nice comforting feeling and be a little bit familiar and give it that sense of, of hominess for him. Um, this other bag we're using kind of for odds and ends, desk accessories and things. We're not sure if we're gonna need it all. Um, but we wanted to make sure we brought them um, odds and ends that match his room theme. So um, uh, boxes for storage and found this really, really great um, tissue box holder that's kind of goes along with his classic book theme. And so I thought that would be a great addition. Um, there are several other items as well that we're probably going to um, take from his room itself. Um, but right now we just packed up the things he's not currently using. Right here I'm showing his uh, the Thinker bookends. Um, so that he can actually uh, hopefully put his school books there <laughs> along with all of his classic works of literary works that he enjoys reading. Um, then of course the usual things, the pillow, um, he's going to have a pack of two pillows I think I got from Walmart. Um, his Keurig is actually, that's an older Keurig, we're actually probably going to buy him a new one to take with him. Small heater um, and also there's a fan. And then of course the boxes, the boxes of items that are currently in his room that we know he's gonna take with him. Um, I try to always hang on to the boxes that items come in if I think that we're gonna need, need them again to pack them up or to store them and things like that. Um, down there of course is the microwave and we're still waiting on his fridge to come and I'll probably do a separate video on the fridge and the microwave. Um, 
this little cart here, um, I've been using that to organize some of the essential items. And I'm definitely gonna do another separate video on some of the essential supplies and things that a college student needs. I learned a lot from them sending my daughter to school three years ago. And so um, I wanna share that information with you guys. So I've been sorting and organizing these. And so this top drawer here is just basically the school supplies. Um, and keep in mind, a lot of this stuff I've been buying for several months now, actually since you know March and spring, spring break, um, every time I've gone shopping and, or had an opportunity to order some things, I've been buying things on the list that I think that he would need to have because I didn't want to get to this point where we are now and be struggling and rushing to try to buy things that he would need for school. So this drawer here is basically labeled tools and that's where we'll put things like a screwdriver and a, you know tape and glue and um, you know a small hammer, things like that. He shouldn't be putting any nails anywhere, but you never know when you need a good pair of pliers for something. <laughs> um, of course, there's the uh, uh, utensils, so plastic forks, paper plates, paper cups, things like that. And uh, we're just kind of sort of adding stuff to this, this little sort of container as we go. Um, first aid and medicine drawer, I, I bought him a first aid kit, you know, and this is where a lot of his general medicines are going to go for coughing and allergies, aspirin, things like that, band-aids, um, you know, uh, anything that we think he might need um, for, for that, for those occasions. And then the bottom drawer is mainly going to be grooming items and, and uh, toiletries and things like that. So, of course, plenty of hand sanitizer, body soap, wash, uh, uh, shampoo, um, shaving items, all those types of grooming um, and care things. I'd like for him to have extra. So that way, if, if he runs out, he doesn't have to try to get to the store or we don't have to send him a quick emergency care package. Um, these other boxes here are just boxes that are going to hold some of the things, his computer and his, his screens and whatnot. Um, this is a great little item and I'm going to definitely do a separate video on this one as well because this video was just getting too long. Uh, but this is a great cereal dispenser, but it can also be used for snacks and trail mix and things like that. And I love it. I think I'm actually going to get another one for myself, but I'll show that one later. And this is a bear pillow. I love it because my son's nickname is actually Bear. He used to be Baby Bear, but he's not a baby anymore. So it's just Bear, but I thought it was a cute item um, that he can put on his bed that I think will be great. Um, a little reminder of home. So yeah, pretty much, um, this is pretty much basically it. Um, I wanted to just provide a general overview. I am going to go ahead and do a series of videos that I think are going to help other people. So the next one will be about the freshman checklist, uh, basically a checklist of items that every freshman should have and consider bringing with them. Um, if you like these videos or you have any questions about anything I've shown here, please let me know. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.